Hey Digi fans and welcome back to Digidom, that series of videos where I take you from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make a powerful profile picture. You're looking great, keep it up, using Adobe Spark Post. Now you can use a picture of yourself. It could be your favorite sports person, your favorite musician, someone from history, someone fictional from a book, anyone you like, but I'm gonna teach you how to make it really powerful using Adobe Spark Post. If you're using a phone or a tablet, you can download the Spark apps individually, Spark Page, Spark Post, and Spark Video. If you're using a laptop, just go to, or a desktop in fact, go to spark.adobe.com. So let's get going. Open up Adobe Spark Post. And here we go. Now, I'm going to press the plus at the bottom to go to Photo Library. Now, I've chosen Serena Williams. I'm sure you probably recognise her. Now, I can choose any sort of, of these sizes here. And it's going to be a 3 by 2 landscape. Okay. I'm going to select Done. Here, just let me delete that text. I didn't need it. I'm going to add text a bit later. And I'm going to add my second image. Go to Photo Library again. One of the advantages of doing it on the desktop is that you can add it twice using the collage function right from the start. So add to collage. This is where we're going to start getting pretty fancy. What I want to do is I'll select this image here and then I'm going to scale this until I've got, there we go. I want it down the middle of her face, but I also want to see a tennis racket because that's what she's famous for. Select this one now and then I'm going to pull this. Now I might have to just zoom in ever so slightly here. I'm gonna match the waistband. I think that's probably the easiest place. There we go. You couldn't even tell it was two photos, great stuff. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select one half of the photo. So now we've got one, it looks like one photo, but actually it's two. I'm gonna put touch looks here. You could grayscale one half. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Now I'm gonna select this half, I'm gonna do colorize it oh ho, ho. and other things that I can do is I can press enhance and this is where you can start getting really funky look what happens if I turn up the contrast now sometimes when you play with these things it does actually make it look a little bit crazy but actually on this one I love the way it's making the yellow and the red really pop out maybe work on the brightness just bring up the highlights that's kind of bringing up the lighter colors I really like that. Now on this grayscale version, I think what I might actually do here is the same. What was the one? Brightness, yes. Because what I'd like to do is get this tennis ball looking, like making it really pop. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna select highlights, bring it all the way to the end, and that's made that white of the tennis ball even brighter. You could also try and bring the shadows down a bit as well. Oh, yes, I like it, but you could play around with that all day, and you could. All right, press done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add text. So what I've got is I've got some adjectives here. So I'm going to copy my adjectives, paste that in. There we go. Now what you'll see is I've got them on separate lines and I did that on purpose because then it kind of goes in this list down here. Now you might be thinking, well, that doesn't look pretty good, but wait and see what I can do with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off and I'm going to pop it over. First things first, you have all of these ways in which you can edit this text. First thing I want to do is go to font, okay? Now I know that Bebas New is always in capitals and I like Bebas New, I use it quite a lot to be fair. Uh, so I'm happy with that. Now in terms of color, uh, I'm gonna change it to black and white. I want the text to be white. I'm gonna to go to shape. Now at the moment it's got this black box. Remember when we chose the color, it was black and white. Actually, I don't want any shape behind the text at all because I think it makes it look more classy. Now if I go to effect, I can put things like a little shadow on the text. And sometimes that's pretty cool, but I'm gonna take that off. Then I'm gonna adjust. Now you can adjust the scale, but you can also do it by just taking one of the edges and look what it's doing. This is starting to look pretty cool. Okay, well, I might, might make it slightly bigger. And then on the middle there. Okay, that looks pretty, pretty good. And then align, I want it to align left. And the reason why I want it to align left because I want it to go right down the center of the image. Now the spacing, this is quite cool as well. And what I would like is, I would like for like the longest word, inspiration, to just be slightly longer. That, perfect, that is right on the line there. Now the last thing I'm gonna do 
to make this look super cool is bring down the opacity. And opacity means the, the amount at which you can see through it. I was thinking around about 30. So you can still see the text, but you can still see the legend of Serena and the tennis ball and her arm. You can see all of those things. So I'm really happy with mine. I click done, and then I'm gonna click the share button, save the image here, and it just saves your camera roll or it would download onto your computer. Equally, you can copy the link, and then you can send that out to your family, your friends, whoever you like. Another thing that you can do on the iPad is put a little bit of animation in. Now it's really, really easy. You either select the text, now let me show you how this works. Look at the typewriter one. Cool. Another good one is the Flickr one. I quite like that one as well. Anything you like, maybe, actually, yeah, I think the typewriter. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna click done, share, and this time you can save it, not as a still image like we did last time, but a video animation. And then you can just click save video and it saves your camera roll. Awesome, time for you to pick your inspirational figure, find some incredible words to describe them and make your own powerful profile pic. I hope you enjoyed that Digi fans and I hope your profile picture was particularly powerful using Spark Post. Lots of peas in there, I love peas and carrots. Anyway, please do share your work with me using the hashtag DigiDom or find me on the socials Dom underscore trainer. And also, if you want to get these videos before anybody else, then you're going to have to subscribe. So subscribe. Okay, that's all we got time for. And where am I going to see you next? Yes, that's right. I'll see you in the next Digidon video. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.